Hey guys, and welcome to another GIMP Alchemist tutorial. And, um, yeah, upload video. <laughs> Already acting premature on that one. <laughs> Uploading this video, I guess. Um, um, before I start this episode of our second installment of graphic design, the series, I would love to give a big thanks to some of the uh, supporting people. Um, most of all right now would be the Matt 7000 he uh, he helped me get some resources and helped me get some stuff together and I mean I would love to give big thanks to him thank you um, Matt or I guess whatever I didn't check the channel to check your name or whatever but uh, thank you for all your support and I'd yeah I'd love to give you a big thanks about that also um, other people for like uh, getting ideas on sort of how or tutorials that people would like such as GIMP Know How would be one of them Malgalane uh, Gimpology, Scratch Chalk. Uh, my favorite, though, is probably gotta be this guy, though. I like his tutorials a lot. Um, but yeah, also, uh, also some of the other people like Dr. Zenith Contium, which he's a he's a friend of mine, and he's going to be releasing a uh, new series uh, soon. Well, he's released the first episode already called Mr. Rant. and pretty much also everybody that's on my friends list too. Sorry, you can't see that too well. Ah. Yeah, everybody it's on my friends list. Mark Crilly, he makes a manga series that you should guys yeah, you guys should probably check that out. And you know, subscribers, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to me. You guys are awesome. But um today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be experimenting with something I like to call layer theory, and I've already pre opened up GIMP. As you could see in last time, I mean I was doing everything all the first time, and I mean, this is pr actually, to be honest, my second time trying this because the first time I went over the 10-minute limit. So I'm just going to try and basically explain this as quickly as possible. Um, layers, 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 layers. Layers are a very big part of GIMP, Photoshop, After Effects, Sony Vegas, and just about everything else you use. And yeah, they are a major part of this. But I'm just going to I'm going to basically open up a couple of these layers by clicking this button down here, which and you've also got merging layers down, which puts two and two together as it, merging them together. Trashing layers, you can also right click and do that. But one thing that layers come in very commonly for is getting different effects. Also overlaying people and things like you know you putting someone's head over it that would involve a layer then erasing certain parts of it in a very fuzzy manner to a point where you would um you know make it look like their face was on there and I might actually do a tutorial about that if anybody at, uh, requests it about putting faces and or faking that stuff now one of the applications of this would be um what you do is you have your background layer which remains completely unaffected and you have to select the layer that you want to draw on. But by changing this mode, I can change what it does to every layer under it, like this. And this isn't the only application. You can do this with all kinds of other colors too. Like, like uh, let's just say I'm, let's just say I want to take the high road, and uh, you know, make this a purple color, and we want to see what that does. Yeah, purple color. And then we select the different modes, overlay, and as you can see, you can get some pretty cool effects with this, as you can probably well imagine. Another thing you can also do is you can click this eye and turn it off so that you don't see it at the moment, and you can have it there, but kind of have it out of the way. comes in very handy for coloring anime pictures for those of you who draw a lot. Mark Crilly would probably be one of those, yeah. If you ever, you probably know how to do CG though, Mark, so yeah, I might as well not even bother trying to explain that to you. Um... But there also another thing is is a blend tool. This would come in very commonly also. Like I already have this set to a, sa a saturation thing, which you select it by going, scrolling down and stuff. Then there's different modes you can set it on bilinear, linear, radial. But I'm gonna choose radial in this case because I like radial, especially with this thing. Now it's gonna come out looking like this, and you're thinking, how could I use this in a picture? But if you multiply, divide it screened overlaid ah you're starting to see what I'm getting at here yeah you guys like this effect don't you then uh, I'm gonna actually throw a filter into this one go under lighting effects illuminate the center of it so that you can sort of see through the center of it but the sides are a little bit distorted for those of you who've seen a lot of um 
a lot of those movies where they portray a stereotypical acid trip or something, this would be a very good example of m one thing that people tend to associate with that, I guess. Which I'm almost positive that that's not exactly how the real psychedelic experience would be. But, you know, people like to make generalizations about that a lot. And if you're one of those people, hey, more power to you. Do whatever you want. Um, you're you and I'm me. And, yeah, that's how it works. But, yeah, this is what would come out of that, getting that kind of effect. And as you can see here, these layers would play. Uh, now, if I turn that back on, it'd screw the whole thing up. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this effect. My advice about understanding layers, though, is um, probably what you want to do is make a whole bunch of layers and select different ones and do different things on them so that the layers kind of contradict with each other. Play around definitely with these uh, this modes thing right here. Definitely you want to try a bunch of different things out with that. To Yeah, like look at that. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, like just play around with that too and play around with tools and different like settings like this, for example. You can get some, uh, uh, you got, I mean, it really just takes a matter of a little bit of creativity and time into it. So my advice, my final words for this would probably be to uh, just play around with it and do the different things about it. I know it's kind of a cop-out answer, but trust me, you will learn the best if you play around with it. And uh, thanks for watching this layers tutorial. Uh, sorry I had, to, I had to cut it so short, but last time I went over the lemon in my first take, so yeah. Uh, and I will see you guys next time.